Howdy folks, this is Jessica with Amla Investments LLC on this super cold, snowy Ohio day. I do believe we've got temperatures in the 20s outside, and this brings to mind um, something that I want to share with everyone about preparing your indoor plumbing for these cold days. I'm quite surprised at how many people actually don't know this, especially homeowners. Just the other day I had to tell my neighbor about this because she had no idea. No one ever told her or taught her about these precautions that everyone needs to take um, when the temperatures are dropping below um, 32 degrees. 32 degrees is what is commonly recommended as the threshold for taking these steps. Now, you can see we've got a big mess here. This used to be um, drywall and a master shower insert and uh, what happened is this house sat vacant for a long time during the winter and it was not winterized. It was not prepared for the cold plumbing or sorry cold weather and uh, so what happened is when we bought the house and we turned the water on water spewed out from this pipe right here we had about a one inch split in this pipe just because water froze all the way up here to the second floor and the expansion caused the pipe to rupture so we had to tear all of this out and replace that copper pipe and you know luckily it, it did minor damage down below in the ceiling and this can all be easily avoided with just a couple of, couple of easy steps and uh, so all you have to do here is go to your highest floor where you have a sink and just turn that on to a really slow drip it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a super steady drip, um, just, just enough so there's some water flowing there and that's you know, really not going to affect your water, water bill much and honestly it's a lot better than having to deal with ruptured pipes. So I turn this on at least in one in one sink on the highest floor so that the water is traveling all the way from the lowest level where the water comes in from outside all the way up to the top floor. That makes sure we have movement all the way up to the top floor of the house. And then some people will say you only need to turn one faucet on. Well I say if you have multiple levels and you have a basement then you should also turn the water on in your basement. Um, maybe you have a slop sink or a, a basement bathroom, but if you do have something down there, I would turn that on to a slow trickle as well. And the reason being that usually that those water lines will split off in one direction while the upstairs plumbing goes vertically. And if you don't have movement through all of those pipes, then you may have a pipe ruptured in one area and not in the other because there was no movement there. Now, the other thing that you can do, um, see the uh, problem here is that the pipes, the pipes run in the walls and through the floor and in the cabinet. So you've got, you've got plumbing here behind this cabinet up in there and inside of that cabinet gets really cold. You've got the cold uh, radiating from the um, cold water lines and there's no airflow in there. So I recommend, and so do most people, that you uh, leave your cabinet doors open on really cold days, especially at night. And you just leave those open until it warms up uh, outside. So it's pretty easy, pretty easy 
steps to um, make sure that your pipes aren't going to freeze. And uh, like I said, I'm just I'm surprised at how many people don't know this. And I thought it would be a good thing to share with everyone. Again, um, people recommend that you do this at 32 degrees or below. Now, I would also go a step further and say, if you're having any kind of heating issues in your home, if your furnace or your fireplace or something isn't working and it's getting really cold in there, you definitely want to do this. If it's really cold, um, for instance, we had a power outage not long ago, it was really cold outside, uh, you may want to turn your water flow on a little bit higher. And uh, if you've got a basement and it gets really cold down there, go down there. Um, if it feels really cold to you, you might want to put a space heater down there. Um, anything that you can do to just make sure that your pipes don't get too cold. You got to remember that water that's coming in from the outside is really cold. That's why on cold days you go to wash your hands and you got that cold water on, it's super cold. So you're, you know, at a higher risk for freezing. And anyway, I hope this saves someone a lot of headache. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys soon.